Hi guys, Chris here. So I'm still live and over open, so I've not had much time to go over all the stuff that's come out today. But I wanted to make sure I kept up to date and gave you a relevant video. So obviously FFG have just announced the um, U-Wing and TIE Striker. So I wanted to quickly cover those. As you can see, I've got the spread for the U-Wing up at the moment. I'll do a separate video for the stri TIE Striker. I know it's not the normal way that I do these just preview articles, but I wanted to try and just get them through with as little messing around on the production side as possible. So this is the uh, way I've gone for my Hopefully the sound quality is okay. I'm using the built-in mic on the laptop and everything just so I can go through, but it is what it is. So yeah, we've got some stuff coming from Rogue One. Really exciting. Um, it actually looks like a really fun, interesting ship. Um, I especially like the, uh, the folding wings, which we'll get to in a moment. But yeah, so the stat line looks to be three attack, one agility, four hull, and four shields. So a good rugged package, really. It's nothing too beefy, but it's a you know on the, on the shuttle type level. Um, it's one of the comparisons I've seen that if. Uh, the Rebels ever got like a Palpatine type card, we've now got a good platform to put him on. But it has two crew swaps, torpedo swap, that uh, would be a sensor swap, and then obviously the uh, PS6 one here has the EPT. Um, I can't really make out the ability, I'm not going to try and um, get fancy. I'll do another video when I get home and I've got more time to zoom in and see what I can extrapolate from any of the cards that haven't been spoiled. So, hold your horses on that one, guys. We'll get to it. But the uh, interesting one I like is the uh, the title card for zero points. So it is the, uh, the pivotal wings. Uh, so you're going to be in one of two states. It's a dual-sided title. Looks really interesting. So in the attack state, that is the wings folded back. Uh, you get to increase your agility value by one, so it becomes an agility two ship with eight hull. Sorry, well, eight hit points. Uh, it's pretty, pretty rugged. Pretty good. I like it. Uh, after you execute a maneuver, you can flip this card face down. So, on the other side, you have the uh, pivot wing landed mode, and that is when you reveal a zero speed maneuver, you may rotate your ship 180 degrees. So it's got a 0k turn, um, and it obviously I'm assuming the 0 is going to be red, because if it's white, that's just crazy. Um, after you execute a maneuver, you may flip the card. So as long as you're already in the landed mode, you can rotate on the spot. Um, oh. Hopefully not picking up too much of that background noise, obviously party going on in the corridor. <laughs> the joys of filming from a hotel room. Um, but yeah, the good thing I was thinking, obviously, it's both done on uh, executing a manoeuvre, is when you can flip the card over. So you have to already be in landed mode to get the rotation. So I feel like starting in, um, in landed mode is going to be the way you want to play this. Definitely giving you a lot of versatility. Uh, you can start off deployed on the, in the centre of the table, facing left, and then you can, you know, do a one forwards. Assuming it's got one, I'm, I'm going to be pretty confident it's going to have a one forwards if it's got a zero. Um, and then you can spin it around and go the other way. Really try and bait people in and that kind of stuff. Uh, so it seems pretty interesting to fly. I'm looking forward to looking at what else the dial has got. And then we have two of the crew. Obviously, there's quite a few things from uh, Rogue One in here, but we've not spoiled everything yet. We have Jin Erso, and she is a rebel only crew with the action. So choose one uh, friendly ship at range one to two, and assign one focus token to that ship for each enemy ship inside your firing arc at range one to three you can't assign more than three focus, uh, three tokens this way so 
it's a pretty good support ability, good for handing your tokens off to other people. Um, it's going to be interesting in that you can stack up to three tokens onto someone and then um, I don't know how you're going to want to wait, whether you're going to basically keep it on, uh, on one thing or maybe use it in conjunction with the Janors. could be pretty interesting if then you're handing them a focus and an evade and they still get their action as well. So, I get a support card, and it's only two points, but it does use an action, which isn't uh, always going to be available, especially if you're, like, say, have a red, probably. The zero is probably a red, so you've got to switch it into the attack mode pretty soon. Then we have Cassian Ander, and then he is at the end of a planning phase. You know, this one is good. At the end of a planning phase, you may choose an enemy ship at range 1 or 2. I guess allowed that ship's burring and speed. And then look at its dial. If you guess correctly, you may roll, um, may reset your dial to a different maneuver. So it's kind of like a super intel agent. You get to look at the dial and you get to potentially change your maneuver. It's going to be really good for those instances where you've got when you you must have been in that position where you're flying your ship and you're looking at your opponent's like if I do this and he does that move he's got me what do I do this one so you pick the one and then call the one move that will count to you and then you can always change it and bug out the situation stuff like that seems really good the one Quick synergy I thought of with this guy is going to be on the uh, Arc 170 because it really lets you take advantage of that rigor arc if you can reposition it. So I feel like it's going to be pretty good there, especially only two points, one point more than an Intel agent, which does see play. So I think it's going to be good. Um, and that's it for you, wing guys. So I'll do another video on the TIE Striker. Um, I'm probably going to uh, do it tonight. I don't know if I'll get them both uploaded tonight, but stay tuned. There's another one coming. Thanks for watching, everyone, and apologies for the quality of this one.